All right, guys, Super Bowl Sunday. So excited, finally. Two weeks of listening to Skip and Stephen A on first take. I just can't take it anymore. Time time to play the game. Uh, it's actually nice out today, 50 degrees. So down in New York, I think it's like 54. So perfect conditions. Uh, I'm excited. My prediction, I've, I've thought about it long and hard, and I'm still, I'm still really torn. Uh, let me put my window up for a sec. Um, I'm going with Seattle. I'm going with Seattle just because I do think they're the better overall team. Denver's got a great offense. They've got a great offense. Defense is pretty good, um, but I, I, I think Seattle is just the be better all-around team. Uh, I think they might need a defensive touchdown or a special teams touchdown. Uh, Percy Harvin, I think, will play a big uh, factor today. Um, you know, Peyton, though, the, the, the key is, you know, Peyton can't throw any picks, and he hasn't really turned the ball over much this year. I think only 10 interceptions all year. So no turnover. If he doesn't turn the ball over, then that makes me a little nervous. But I still think Seahawks, not just based on their defense either, based on the fact that they're the better all-around team from special teams, um, defense, and offense. Uh, Russell Wilson, you know, he's going to have to make some key plays. He doesn't even have to, you know, win the game himself. He just needs to make those key plays, third downs, you know, some rollouts, and, and they got Marshawn too. So going with Seattle, and obviously, you know, I'm a Pats fan, so I don't ever root for Peyton. But however, if Peyton wins, give him all the props in the world. It's the greatest, honestly, one of the greatest seasons any athlete has ever had in the history of this world, honestly. So that's that. Going to go watch it with my dad. Um and cry for the fact that Pats aren't in it, but it is always next year, I guess, right? I don't know. Uh, so that's that. Um, uh, anything else going on? Um, not much, really. I got I got uh, sp something special coming up uh, in two about two weeks, so um, I'll let you guys know about that. Mm, not maybe sometime. Not next week, but the week after. I'll tell you guys more about it. Also, a lot of chirping about the beard. A lot of chirping. A lot of just people really hating on the beard. But just to let you guys know, beard is here to stay. Beard's not going anywhere. Uh, I did get a haircut, so I was able to clean it up a little bit on the sides. But beard's here to stay. I, my hair's like a mess right now, but got it nice and short on the sides. Nice and clean. But I'm growing the mustache out. I'm growing the beard out. It's, it's, it's a lifestyle now. You don't, just, you don't just trim a beard because I feel weird without it. So, Beard City. There's Team Beard and there's Team No Beard. If you're Team No Beard, then I probably would not want to be friends with you. No, I'm just kidding. Well, no, I'm not really. Uh, but yeah, slacking on the vlogs a little bit. I'll try to uh, keep up with them more. Um, and that's it. Just want to check in with you guys, say what's up. Hope everyone enjoyed their weekend. Hope everyone enjoyed the Super Bowl. I'll post this. When will I post this? I'll post it. I'll post it before the game. So this is being filmed right now. You guys will see it in about an you know, hour before the game. Maybe right before kickoff. It's the Uanti Super Bowl special where I drive in a car and talk about my pointless Super Bowl prediction that probably won't even be correct. Uh, but that's that. All right, cool. I'm going to go. Peace. <laughs>